Hello, my lovelies, I hope you're all well. You may remember a teacher who went viral having a discussion with a student and teaching them how to critically think. Here is a clip from that video that went viral. Uh, she's, she's had a pretty controversial past. I just want to know, like, what are your thoughts on it? And, like, do you still like her work despite her uh, bigoted opinions? So let's get specific, though. Let's define bigoted opinions. What opinions are bigoted? We're going to treat this as a thought experiment. I'm not going to say yeah. what's right or wrong or what way to think. The whole point is to learn how to think, not what to think. Yeah, yeah. So when you say bigot, you, you're, you're starting with the conclusion that given her bigoted opinions. Yeah, so first her, uh, let's start with, does she have bigoted opinions? So when you, when you say bigoted opinions... She has had a history of being extremely transphobic, I've heard. And you've heard. So what? can you give me an example? Uh... If you look at her Twitter, I think um, you could see a few things. Um, if you want, I could try and find yeah, see something. If you can find, see if you can find one. So, one of these tweets that she came up with in 2019, she said, Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you, um, live your best life life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for starting that, for stating that sex is real. So you find that bigoted? What do you find about it was in there? It was deemed transphobic. I, like, I myself... Do you find that transphobic yourself? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it, but I'm just going with what a lot of other people have said. So let's of... pause it. Let's not go with what other people are saying. Let's try and learn how to critically think. So let's analyze the tweet ourselves. So that statement, do you see anything problematic? Disregarding other people's opinions. Um, she did try and pin some things on a, spe a specific group of, per of people. I where does she, where does she do that? Do that? Can you read that? But force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real. So when I hear that, I'm interpreting that as meaning, if a woman says that you know, saying that there is a difference between men and female, and then being attacked as transphobic, I think that's what she's saying by attacking someone for stating that sex is real. That is exactly what she's saying. Is that I, transphobic to you? So, to me. No, stating that sex is real is not transphobic. It's just a fact of life. It exists. So is there... That teacher has now been sacked from the school that he was teaching at. We don't know the exact reasons for him being fired, um, but he put out a video on YouTube talking about it and uh, just basically saying, yeah, I was sacked. Here are my thoughts. Um, so he has started his own YouTube channel, so you can head across there and subscribe to him once you finish this video. I've already subscribed to him myself, and we wish him the best of luck. We need more teachers like that. Um, so I've got this substack here. Warren Smith went viral after a retweet from Elon Musk at the beginning of the year when he posted a discussion with a pupil about Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. The pupil asked Mr. Smith whether he still liked Rowling's work despite her bigoted opinions. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you've seen that clip. Uh, Mr. Smith's viral video used the Socratic method to guide his pupil to think critically about the author. It was a masterclass in asking and answering questions to try to establish the truth. Um, a week ago, Mr. Smith was fired from the same school in which the viral video took place. He had been teaching there for four years. Whilst we don't know the exact reason he lost his job, in a recent update he suggests it was because of the backlash to his videos. Uh, he's clearly shaken up in his video describing what happened to him. The school seems to have given him a little warning and confiscated his laptop containing books he is writing and cryptocurrency codes, a painful lesson showing the importance of data backup. Um, if Warren was fired purely based on his opinions and way of teaching, this is a disgrace. So long as he didn't violate any terms of his contract or bring the school into disrepute, and he's never even named the school, we just know it's in Massachusetts. Now, going against the herd and thinking critically should be encouraged. In fact, it should be the norm. And it always used to be, didn't it? But now it's like people don't want children thinking critically, or adults thinking critically for that matter. <sighs> So it happened yesterday. I was 
fired from my full-time teaching position. I'm not going to... I, it happened so quick. It happened like five minutes. There was really no conversation, so they clearly knew what they wanted to do. So it's not something like that. I don't think they're... And I really, genuinely, I, I'm not... Because there's so little clarity on all of this, I'm really trying not to... I, I'm not interested in divulging any thing. I ha there's no utility in that. I never have. <laughs> I never will. Um, I think I have a right to articulate that I just lost my job and my basic observations, my life experience. There's no NDA. So when you say we appreciate you not divulging. I, I don't know if that means that you're threatening my severance package. I really hope not. I don't I don't even know what the severance package is. I'm still waiting, but um for everything we know, it seems this is another cancellation due to different opinions causing some hurty feelings. Critical thinking has lost to critical theory, where group think is unfortunately prospering. Good luck to Mr. Smith. Uh yes, best of luck to him. He, as I say, has his YouTube channel and um, I've already subscribed. I'm going to leave the link to his channel in the description box below so that you can go and check him out. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and uh, I will see you very soon.